Are we back? <laughs> Can you guys hear me? We're back. Oh, my gosh. I was so worried. So I'll post the picture on Discord later. I was so worried. So I rebooted my router. Usually it takes about five minutes or something. Never came back up. No internet. So I'm like, crap. I hope it's not Comcast because they could be doing something and then I'm hosed, right? So I go on their website with my phone internet. Uh, I put in my account and it says, oh, we are currently doing maintenance from 1 a.m until 5 a.m. So expect outages during that time. It's like, okay, if it's gonna be out until 5 a.m., there's no way I can finish this tonight. So I was gonna say, unfortunately guys, we're gonna have to call it. I was just about, I did post that message. Um, and then I saw on my um, broadcasting software, all of a sudden it connected to chat. I'm like, what? And I saw the chat start to work and I'm like, I think we're good. So thank goodness we're gonna finish tonight. I was so worried. Thank you Comcast for ruining my VOD. If only I could get fiber. Although, I don't know. These companies have to do maintenance from time to time, so I can't blame them. And usually they do it during odd hours, which is, is when I'm streaming right now. So <laughs> what are the odds, right? Yeah, we can finish it. You just have to type in every sentence into chat. We could have done it that way, Pyramid. That's true. It wouldn't really be a stream, but you could. I could kind of describe what's happening. <laughs> Actually, no. Maybe I could have streamed from my phone. I didn't even think about that. I think you could stream directly from your phone. It'd be weird. It would just be me holding my phone up so you could see the screen. And I'm like, all right, guys, how's it going? And it would be terrible looking, but it would work. It'd be something. Way better than like trying to finish this another night. Okay, so hopefully you guys didn't miss too much. Um, I just basically told Damien how proud we are of him and how much he's grown and he's doing such a great job. And the last message I stopped on was, I feel myself inching closer and closer to Damien. I go to brush a lock of hair out of his face, and I am shocked at how soft it is. How, how is your hair so soft? <laughs> Dog shampoo. I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on the side of my face. He strokes my cheek with his thumb. Huh. You know, public displays, or displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. Damien pulls me in for a kiss. Ah. But I think I can make an exception for you. <laughs> cut, to, cut to those crazy 90s colors. Oh, we did it! Oh my gosh, we literally had like not even a minute left. Comcast! Oh, it's ridiculous. At least we get to hear the theme song again. I got to join in here. Just a second. We were so close, guys. Dream Daddy. Oh, and we get to see a Polaroid of Damien after the credits. Nice. I will definitely relax and watch. So, I mean, honestly, when I beat a game, even on my own, I usually watch all the credits. Not even so much because I think they might be hiding something cool. A lot of it's just like I want to sit there, appreciate all the work they did, listen to their music, and just relax and think about what I just experienced, you know? Sometimes the credit scenes are just way too long, though. This game won't be. I'm guessing. It couldn't have been like 400 people working on this game. Um, thankfully, I just got pranked by TELUS. Comcast is pranking us. <laughs> Pretty much. Maybe, what if Comcast is watching the stream and just like, nope. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, maybe it's time to start trying some dog shampoo. What was it? I think Andy one time used like a horse shampoo. She has really long hair. Apparently it's really good for your hair. Like the strength and stuff of it. She used some kind of horse shampoo. So, for every, how many of you guys had never experienced this game before? I know a lot of you have, but I'm curious who has never seen this game before? And what did you think of the game, by the way? I didn't know horses need shampoo. <laughs> I didn't either, really. I mean, I guess if you have like a show horse or something, maybe that's a thing. You had never seen the game before Tuesday? So what did you think? I mean, me, these games are not my wheelhouse, to be honest. I would never usually go out of my way to play a dating simulator. But playing with all you guys, this is hilarious. You know, I have a great time doing it, just kind of experiencing everything with you. Um, 
And as far as how the game played, I really liked the mechanics. I liked all the mini games that they had. And it, I didn't feel like the game wasted my time either, just from a gameplay standpoint. Things moved pretty quickly. Um, I was never like stuck on a puzzle or something weird, although I guess I could have gotten stuck earlier. That's a lot of special things. Aw, that's cute. You're the best pops, Amanda. This is the picture I think she gave us as a present. Oh, that's cool. At the cemetery, no less. Nice. That was cool. But no, that was a very wholesome, very sweet game. Um, I honestly wasn't sure what to expect of it. I wasn't sure if this was going to be like a really jokey game or if it was going to take itself as like a legitimate like dating simulator, you know? I don't know, when I first saw that title, or even heard of this game, I thought, oh, it's like gonna be like just a meme game or something. But no, it was like really wholesome and just like a pretty, well, really well done dating sim, I would say. I don't know how bad things can get as far as like when you screw up relationships and whatnot. That might be fun to like maybe YouTube a few of those videos just to kind of see how it works out. But I really enjoyed the game.